Killing Time is possibly the most um, sensational piece of Australian television that I've seen. It's the true life story of the disgraced Melbourne lawyer Andrew Fraser, played in the series by uh, David Wenham. It's really r like a three act Shakespearean tragedy spread across ten episodes. Uh, the series was, uh, well, it's taken quite a while to get to television, is there's been a, a lot of legal action. Um, stopping it being shown and in fact it'll go to air in two parts uh, with the last four episodes being shown a little later uh, hopefully after um, some court uh, affairs are dealt with in Melbourne. Andrew Fraser, as you may remember, uh, was one of Australia's most prominent criminal lawyers uh, and, uh, while well loved by the, uh, the crims of Melbourne, was hated and despised by the police. His client list included the most infamous of Melbourne's underworld during the uh, so-called underbelly period, uh, of course dramatised in the uh, quite extraordinary uh, Channel 9 series. His um, Client list included people like uh, businessman Alan Bond and the footballer Jimmy Cracker, uh, as well as a whole range of very low-life Melbourne uh, murderers. What we have here, boys, a pretty one. Shut up, Harry. All right, get in there. In the late 90, 90s, of course, uh, Fraser became addicted to cocaine and his life collapsed, culminating in a, in, in a series of criminal charges of being knowingly concerned with the importation of uh, a commercial uh, quality of cocaine. Interestingly, several of the uh, police involved in his eventual conviction were themselves later convicted of similar charges. And in December 2001, uh, the once high-flying lawyer with the gift of the legal gab was sentenced to uh, seven years jail. Uh, it's an extraordinary story, uh, as I say, a rather Shakespeare experience story and we watch as uh, you know the inevitable happens we know that terrible things will happen to this man uh, superbly played as I say uh, is Mr Fraser by uh, David Wenham and uh, some of Australia's best character actors fill in the, the rest of the roles we want you body and soul the other partners are a little edgy about the low-rent clientele cluttering the place oh, it's, it's visceral, it's tough, it's confronting. The, uh, the street life in particular is, uh, well, it's depicted in a way that I've never really seen. Even Underbelly, the, the original Underbelly, pales by comparison to the sense of reality that the, the producers and the director, Peter Androkidis, have managed to, to give this series. Androkidis is, well, not really arguable. I think he's our best television director, possibly the, dire the best director working in the film medium in Australia. Uh, he directed the first Underbelly and uh, the wonderful series East West 101. Uh, so this is an extraordinary extraordinary piece of television. It's uh, uh, written, well, initially written by Ian David, who gave us Blue Murder several years ago, and the people who put this together really understand how true crime television works. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic TV.